in the previous lesson we looked at how you can take in your user credentials here and allow your user to create an account on your app if a user inputs their details here and click on create account their account is created on firebase and that information is saved on the authentication tab of your firebase here and all their user details are stored in the firebase firestore database in this video we are going to look at the code to do the login page here basically once your user has created an account they can come here and they can log in using those account details the code for this is available in my buy me a coffee page but don't worry i'm going to show you how to do it yourself in this video from the previous video we have an index.html page with our create account page here a dummy profile page and the code for creating our user here and storing our user details in the firebase firestore database to log in our user we're going to need two things another page for login which is an index.html page and a javascript file to log in the user with so we're going to go here and we're going to say login.html let's say login.html and what i'm going to do is copy the code from this one here select a and then control v but in this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the other input fields because we don't need them to log in and then i'm going to change this one to login i will link this back to the create account page so that you can create an account if you don't have it our page will look like this for now you don't really need the other things the other input fields in order for our user to log in for our user to log in they need to input their email and their password and that's it once they've created an account on our website this button here instead of it saying submit i'm gonna make it login like this i'm gonna say login give you the idea of login and our ids for the email and password are gonna remain the same so now let's create the login.js let's say login.js here and then we're gonna save that in the index.html page we're gonna go back here and we're gonna erase this one and we're gonna link it to login.js let's say login.js and then save this and as you can see we've now linked our script here with our login page here okay so the first thing we are going to do in the login.js file is we are going to import initialize app from firebase app next we are going to import get auth and sign in with email and password this is the function that we are going to use to sign in our user with their email and password and this one we are importing it from firebase auth here next we are going to paste our firebase login credentials we are going to paste our firebase login configuration which we used in our create account page here make sure that this is the same next we are going to initialize our app while taking our firebase configuration as our parameter here and then we're going to initialize auth using get auth here and we'll take our app as our argument next we are going to grab our login button by using its id here because remember our submit button here has an id of login so we're gonna grab that using its id and then we are going to add an event listener to the login button here the event we're going to be listening for is click and once this button is clicked we are going to run this function here i always like to say prevent default here so that when you click this button the form doesn't refresh next we are going to grab the input fields for our email and password so here i'm going to have the value of our email and the value of our password here make sure that our ids match here they match the ones on our html here and please make sure that you have the value here you're taking in the value unlike the button here you need to grab the value here the next thing we're going to be doing is using that function here so this function is available in the firebase documentation 
so you can copy it from there and paste it here so basically the function is signing is signing with email and password and it takes in auth email and password as its arguments once it has these things it's going to try to log in our user here within this function what i'm going to do is save our user id and email into local storage we are going to need to use this later once our user is logged in i'm going to redirect them to the profile page we created here and finally if an error occurs during the login process i'm going to alert the user that uh, there's an error somewhere this is all the code you need to log in your user once your user account is created and please make sure that the user creates their account first here because if they try to log in using an email that is not there on the database it's gonna give them an error it's not gonna allow them to log in like this is gonna tell them user not found and if they use the wrong password they are also not going to be able to log in so you must first create an account here is then that you are going to be able to log in in our form here with that said please like the video and subscribe thanks for watching and i will see you in the next lesson